Alright folks, I'm going to make some snow cone snow here off the inside of my freezer. Scrape it off some ice. Take this into. If I can get enough here. We've done this several times now. Been interrupted several times. Business to take care of. We're going to make a Kind of a artificial, shouldn't be any chemicals in this very nice. I think it would be pretty similar to a nice pure, clean snow. And it would mimic how a clean snow would melt, I would hope. And it'll be a drier snow. Be dry. It's cold, really cold in here. All right, now pack that into a ball. All right. Nice ball here, a nice snowball, and it's very feels just like real snow, like what we would have made snowballs out of in northern Wisconsin when I was a kid growing up. And then we'll take some of this fresh snowpack right here and make a snowball. Left hand is what I got out of my freezer, right hand is snow that fell this last snowstorm we had here the other day that's a little bit bigger so I'm gonna pop some off we're gonna come around the side of the house I'm gonna shape these to about the same size so that they're at least real similar uh, what's really strange is I mean this was two to three inches of snow and the yard isn't even wet and I'm really close to the water table. Usually if we had heavy rain, um, this would be soggy. The deck, I mean, I had two to three inches of snow on this deck. And look at it. It's not great, it's not, it's evaporating. Instead of making water, the deck's almost dry. This was all snow. Um, all right, are those similarly sized? Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you can see, you can see this one's already, already starting to melt. In my hand, that one's a little bit, just a hair bigger. Let me chip some off. I don't want anybody saying that. Well, that one was a little bit bigger. They're pretty darn close. All right. Let me close the door. All right. Set them down. Left side is the one out of the freezer. Right side is the snow. The real snow that just fell, the chemical snow. And I'm going to do this one a little bit differently than I did last. The last time I just held them in my hand over the wood stove. Mary Lou's going to time it. Um, and I'm just going to take them from the side like this and hold them over this wood stove. Timer's on. And we're going to see how long it takes from the drip. That one already dripped. What, where are we at? 11 seconds. 11 seconds we got a drip out of the real snow shaved ice ball out of the freezer. 11 seconds. I'm going to move back consistently. All right, as around. you can see, we got a lot of water. Coming off the left side. So 11 seconds we already had dripping water. I'm going to take the left one away as soon as it 
So at least I can brace myself to sit here and hold the other one. I've been doing this all day, so my back's starting to get sore. Where are we at, Mary Lou? Minute eight. <clears throat> Minute eight. <clears throat> You bring your left hand in just a little closer. I'm going to take it out of here. I can brace myself. I think it's pretty clear that this one's melting, right? Yep. It started melting. Now I'm just going to sit here and hold the other one. Max, you can eat this one. I wouldn't let you eat the other one. Here, boy. Your, your hand's in the way of that one. Would you switch hands for me? Yep, Max. Eat it, boy. Here you go, Max. We'll throw the other one in a hazardous waste site. All right. I'm sorry. Right, we just got hit by the fan. <laughs> we got a heat-powered fan. The heat drives the fan. It's not electric-powered. All right, we're at All two right. minutes. Do we have a drip yet? No, I'm literally holding it right over a red-hot. I mean, this thing is hot. We can still see our water. I mean, you could see the steam. The other one. Right. See the water puddle in the right, far right side of the frame. And this one at two and a half minutes is still not dripping at all. And there's no telling how hot this is. It's in the hundreds of degrees. Again, in previous videos I've made, talked about the levels of aluminum in the snowpack on Mount Shasta, California. There, there's testing done all over the country, in, including some in Georgia. Um, but anyway, snowpack in the snow on Mount Shasta, 61,000 parts per billion, which is 61,000 times normal. One part per billion would be normal, or less. Um, typical readings now, Dane says he's getting anywhere between 500 and 1,500 parts per billion, which is still 500 to 1,500 times more than normal. Um, that's extremely significant values. And if it were just aluminum, I guess... Uh, Sorry, I hit the fan again. You're a great photographer. <laughs> Jesus. If it were just aluminum, I guess, uh, you know, as if aluminum isn't bad enough, uh, causing Alzheimer's and everything else, but you got strontium, arsenic, manganese, mycoplasma, fungus, bacteria, viruses, God knows, you know, what they're putting in this crap. Oh, anything to sicken us and get our guns. Four minutes. So we can... Proceed on to world government. Not a pretty place they want to take us, folks. That's why I do what I do. Kind of like of my hat. freedom. Kind of like my liberty. Get a shot of your hat. Yeah, I appreciate that. Liberty and freedom are a wonderful, wonderful thing. And health is even more wonderful. So, we're going to keep uh, working hard. We're going to persevere, we're going to overcome, we're going to keep doing snow tests, rain tests, soil tests, air tests, until we reach critical mass. Five minutes. And enough people come together, which was my campaign slogan back in 2012. Come together, baby. Blacks, whites, rich, poor, Democrats, Republicans, <clears throat> we're all getting screwed on an epic proportion. Now, it seems a little odd that a snowball would not have put off a drop of water being held over a wood stove that is so hot <clears throat> that the snowball that I made from ice shavings from my freezer Put out a drop of water in 11 seconds. And where are we at? We are at six minutes. Six minutes. Not one drop. I'm going to go.
closer to the pipe even just to get as hot as I possibly can without burning the daylights out of my hand. Greg's first video this morning compared a snowball to an ice cube and we got lots of uh, debunkers. Who, ah, oh, a drop of water! Woo! Hey, where are we at, Mary Lou? Six minutes and 23 seconds. Yeah. And there's the sizzling drop that's probably full of chemicals and going to leave residue on the wood stove. It does. This leaves residue. My water leaves it. I'll be able to wipe that right off. All right, good.